Hey guys, this is Leo with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can add an outside referral to your commission request in the command opportunity. So you'll want to submit your commission request to your office when you go under contract, and if you're not super familiar with the commission request, I will put a link in the YouTube video that will walk you through steps A through Z, creating the commission request, but basically what you need to know is the commission request is letting your office know how you're getting paid. Are you receiving all of your commission? Are you splitting the commission with another team member? Are you paying an outside referral to an, another agent, maybe in a different state, who referred you these clients? Clients, or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to show you how to set up the outside referral if you are a single agent making that outside referral and then I'll also show you if you're a team member agent how to split the outside referral between maybe two, two team members that are receiving um, part of the commission. Alright, so first thing that we'll need to do is go ahead and access your opportunity. So you can do so um, however you normally do. So if you normally access your opportunities from the contact record or from your um, opportunity dashboard, you can do either one. I'm going to access the opportunity dashboard by clicking the handshake icon on the left hand side of command, which is agent.kw.com. And then I'm going to go ahead and navigate on over to my opportunity on the pipeline. But again, feel free to pause the video so you can navigate to your opportunity in whatever way you normally do. There's a couple different ways to do that. And simply click on the opportunity name to open that up. Once you click on the opportunity name, that'll take you right to the opportunity details. And for this tip video, we are focusing on the offers and commissions tab specifically. So again, when you go under contract, you will want to go ahead and put in the offer details right in here. Okay, so in offers and commissions, we'll add in our offer by clicking add new offer on the top right. And it'll, it'll prompt you with a few fields and prompts and it'll take you along to enter in the contract details. And all of that information is included on the commission request. So if you are under contract, you can go ahead and click add new offer. And if this is new to you, again, I included the link in the description of this YouTube video on how to add an offer and complete the commission request in general. After you have added the offer in, I'll go ahead and change that. After you have added the offer in, you can go ahead and click accept on the right hand side of whichever offer is being accepted. And when you do that, you'll then be given the option to manage the commission. So I'll go ahead and select Manage Commission. And it will take me on over to the commission request. And this is what it looks like here. So again, all this is basically doing is telling your office how you're getting paid. Um, are you receiving all of the payment, all of the commission, are they splitting it with another agent in your office, are you paying an outside referral, and, or so forth. Okay, so what you're looking at here on the top with the general information that does pull over from the offer details you put in. And if I scroll on down, I'll start to see the agent payment details. So here, all right, it, you'll notice, first of all, your gross commission minus your royalty owed, your company commission, and the ad additional deductions below. Okay, and you'll see your net to agent here. You'll also see a summary on the right hand side. So if you do need to pay an outside referral, okay, and in this case it would typically be a situation like, you know, if you're in North Carolina and uh, you were referred to these clients by an agent in Michigan, typically you would need to go ahead and pay that outside referral whatever percentage you guys agreed upon on the initial referral, um, the referral form, you would need to go ahead and pay that out at this point. So we click on edit, pay, edit agent payment to add that in. So in line with your name, click on edit agent payment. And scrolling down to the bottom of that list where you'll see add item. So you'll see extra payment options, referrals, bonuses, deductions, and concessions. We'll click Add Item on the very bottom. And then from that drop down, you'll be able to scroll to select the outside referral. It is on the very bottom of that list. 
And here you'll be prompted to put in some information about the outside referral, a lot of which is prioritized or you have to fill this out, so it is required. So if you see the red star, you do have to fill that out in order to continue. So you will need to go ahead and get their tax ID, broker company, agent name, address, and phone for the agent you're paying the outside referral to. So if you are paying a 25% referral, you can go ahead and put that in and the system will automatically generate that. So you can click on add and then save changes and it will add that right away. All right, same case goes if you're paying a 30% referral or a 15% referral. No matter what you update that to, it will update for you. Right, and you may need to, again, contact the agent who referred to you to gather this information so that your MCA can make that payment out to the agent. All right, so once you do that and click Save Changes, again, you can go ahead and click Submit on the top right once you're ready. However, if you're an agent on a team, I'm now going to show you how you can split the referral between two of you. If, you know, let's say two team members are splitting the commission, how you can go ahead and split that referral amount as well. So you're not, you know, one person isn't paying the entire referral, you're splitting that evenly. So first thing to note for team member splits on commission requests is the total unit number. So you'll notice that's one. Right, agent unit. It is always going to be one. Right, Anytime you sell a home, <clears throat> it's one home, one transaction, so one unit. So that being said, in order to split a transaction with another agent, we'll first need to go ahead and edit the agent unit. So in line with my name here, I'll click on edit agent payment. And where it has the unit number, I want to go ahead and change that, let's say, to 0.5. So if you're doing a 50-50 split, for example, with another agent on your team. I just want to clarify, this is always on the same side of the transaction. So what I'm walking you through here and for the commission request you're submitting, this is always for your side of the transaction. This is not referring to the agent on the other side of the transaction. So this would be if a team member, you know, you collaborated with a team member on this transaction, you're now splitting the commission 50-50. You could go ahead and change the agent unit to 0.5. Okay, if instead you're splitting it, you know, 40, 60, you could go ahead and change this to 0.6. And once you click Calculate Commission, it'll update that right away. Okay, so let's say I'm doing the 60, 40 split. So I'll go ahead and put that 0.6 here. I'm gonna go ahead and add both agents first, and then we'll go back and add the outside referral. But right, we added that by clicking Add Item. So in theory, you could go ahead and add the outside referral. Um, but right now, I'll just click Save so I can show you how to add both. So now that I have adjusted the unit number and the commission, I will get these errors letting me know I still have some money left to disperse. Right? So what we want to go ahead and do then is click Add Another Agent. Okay, so Add Another Agent is the option you'll want to pick for the same side of the transaction. So since you collaborated with the agent, we'll click Add Another Agent. And this will allow you to search agents in your market center. So we can go ahead and search for the agent that you're splitting the transaction with. Since command can do math, it went ahead and adjusted the 0.4 units, right? Because I have the 60% to the first agent, so now we need 40% to the second agent. So again, 0.6 and 0.4 for the unit, and it is already calculated, but clicking this will always update that. And then you can click Save to go ahead and save that second agent. So now I can see that I have agent one, receiving 60% of the commission, and agent two, receiving 40%. All right, so typically at this point, and it's whatever you guys agree upon, I'm going to show you how you can now, you know, pay an outside referral. Let's say, you know, the outside referral is 25%, and we need to go ahead and pay, um, you know, that on a 40-60 uh, split. All right, so again, we're going to click Add Item to add in the outside referral, but just to make our lives easier, I'm going to change the splits to 0.5 here just to make math a little easier. So I'm going to use ex this example on a 50-50 split for two agents on a team. So you can see I'm, I'm easily updating the agent unit number and then calculating the commission to get the final commission amount. So again, now we've so far added in the split for the two team members, so now let's talk about paying that outside referral. So what we'll wanna do is click on Edit Agent Payment, and click Add Item on the very bottom to add that outside referral. 
And from that drop down, again, we're clicking outside referral to go ahead and put that in. Um, here's where things get a little tricky with splitting the outside referral. So you might need to do a little math, you know, splitting that outside referral. So if you're paying, you know, 25% referral, you know, figuring out what you're um, paying out to the agent. And then if you're splitting that amount 50-50, you can go ahead and just put in the amount straight away. So again, it might be easiest if you figure out what the referral amount is. So that might, if in case that's 25% of the total commission, you can go ahead and calculate that. Probably have a good idea of what that is. And then you can go ahead, if you are splitting that 50-50 with another agent, you can go ahead and put half of that in. So, you know, let's say for example, I'm paying, it's 2,000, very good enough. Um, let's say I am paying out, oh, that might be a little much. Paying out $1,000 on this outside referral, right? Again, I did the math already um, in theory, and I'm just putting in the amount. You can see how it does update the percentage, and you can do that vice versa. So if you calculate the amount that you need to pay um, and split that in half, again, if you're splitting the commission 50-50 and also the referral amount 50-50, you can go ahead and do that math and put in the number, and it will calculate the percentage for you. Again, you'll need to put in the rest of these fields here and click Add. And then we'll need to do that, the same process to the other agent now on the transaction. Okay, so again, I would save my changes for this agent is the one I added the outside referral. So now I'll come up to the top one and we'll click on edit agent payment next to the top agent to go ahead and add the remaining outside referral payment under add item. So click add item choose type to pay that outside referral, and again, we can put the remaining 50% or whatever that may be of the referral amount. So you can put it in in dollars here, and it will update the percentage or vice versa, however your brain works best. Fill out the remaining information and click add. Okay, and so again, what this is, would be doing is whenever um, you are splitting the commission with another agent on your team, if you have an outside referral, that'll split the outside referral payment. So not just one agent is paying that, you're both paying, you know, 50% of the referral or, you know, 60-40 of the referral or whatever you guys agree, agree upon internally. I know that's a, a little bit of math to wrap your head around, so if you have any questions on that, please do not hesitate to reach out, support at scottlavoriemarketing.com. I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Um, and of course, after you add in the outside referral, you will be able to click submit on the top right. And again, I will include the descript in the description of the YouTube video a full overview on how to add in an offer and commission request from A to Z if this is new to you. All right, guys, I hope this helped, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.